Let's talk to Zoe right now. Our thoughts with these firefighters who one more time in the heat will have a long day. Yeah, unfortunately, the heat is only going to continue, but at least for the Bay Area, we are really getting lucky with the relief as these onshore winds are going to continue and it's a stronger onshore flow than what we saw yesterday. So if you look at these winds, they are a little bit stronger and stronger winds means more cool air is going to continue to be forced inland. So the winds that come on from the onshore normally once they had to infer to the Bay, they kind of get a little wonky and turn different directions, but it's strong enough that the onshore flow continues all the way through the Bay and even into our inland most communities. So everybody is being impacted by this onshore flow. It's allowing our temperatures to be a lot more comfortable as we step out into this afternoon. But this morning, it's been gorgeous out there. That fog has really allowed the marine layer to just show its thing, do its thing, and it's really cool to watch the time lapse and just show you how the atmosphere moves like a fluid. Sun beginning to rise, that marine layer continuing to hold on strong, and it's likely going to continue over the next couple of hours or so. But we are really the only ones that are feeling the luck when it comes to a relief from the heat, with the rest of California basically into Arizona, up into Nevada, really feeling these excessive heat warnings. But if we take a closer look at the Bay Area, it's not including us. Like I said, we are really, really lucky when it comes to not dealing with the excessive heat, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be hot. We do still have heat advisories in effect starting early tomorrow morning, continuing throughout the day Wednesday, throughout the day Thursday, and throughout the day Friday. So yes, we do still have heat on the way, but it just might not be as excessive as Central and Southern California, but still upper 90s to triple digits are going to be a big concern. High heat related illness risk will arrive by tomorrow. Today though, the reason though, that it is the onshore flow is stronger is because a very weak disturbance has arrived and that's the reason that today is going to be a little bit more comfortable. It's not going to last much longer than today though as that ridge of high pressure begins to build starting Wednesday and Thursday and that will allow us to all heat up as we step out over the next 24 to 48 hours. Just something to keep in mind as we step out tomorrow but today enjoy yourself. Any outdoor activities that maybe you haven't been able to get done over the past week because it's just been so darn hot. Today is your day to do so with 70s returning in the North Bay, low 70s in Oakland, upper 80s in Concord, but you know, we'll take it because this is the first time in over seven days that they don't have a high in the 90s. Well, Antioch and Livermore are still going to be in the 90s. It's not in the triple digits like we are expecting them to get tomorrow. So today again is going to be the biggest relief when it comes to the heat. And if you head on over to the coast, this is going to be the best place to you really want to beat the heat. But today again is going to be the coolest, most comfortable day out of the next seven. And let's just take a look at our seven day forecast to show you where the heat really starts to peak Wednesday, Thursday, looking at triple digit temperatures all across our inland most communities. Still going to be hot by Friday, but look at the weekend low 90s to upper 80s returning to the forecast. That is just really great news. We finally see an end to this heat wave, both in our inland areas and along the bay and the coast, even though it is still going to be warm 81 degrees by uh, Wednesday and into Thursday, the later parts of the work week and into the weekend, a lot more comfortable thanks to that onshore flow returning. We still need to practice heat safety into today, tomorrow, Wednesday or Thursday and Friday, excuse me. But either way, I hope everybody enjoys slightly more comfortable conditions today.